Now let's start making some random stuff. Uh, the uh, the main skill in um, you know looking through uh, external crates is uh, you know finding what you need to find, and of course that'll depend on how much they wrote, how much uh, how good the documentation is. So you know sometimes it's uh, it's harder, and it's uh, it's not your fault if you can't figure it out if they uh, if the creator you know wrote it all wrong and uh, doesn't give you any help, but. Um, uh, Rand has this uh, has a quick quick start here, so uh, let's just uh, paste it in and see what we're looking at. So this is what they're um, what they're recommending. So uh, Rand Prelude, you know, bring in the uh, most of the of the stuff into scope that they think we'll need, and uh, let's let's comment this out and we'll, we'll type it out ourselves. So um, so there's Rand Random Rand Random. And that uh, it says it generates a boolean. So let's uh, let's print that out and um, see. Make sure that works. And then uh, let's see. Do, 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 cannot infer type. I see. What if we print it out like that? See if it can infer the type now. Interesting. Um, then I guess we'll have to uh, give it some help. So we'll say rand random turbo fish bool. Um, whoops, that uh, these are on the wrong side. And you can see uh, over here it has uh, no rand random uses this uh, this uh, turbo fish syntax to tell it what you want to make uh, bool char something like that. I guess it could uh, it could figure it out here because it's using uh, using if and uh, if uh, is going to tell the compiler that it is uh, going to be a boolean. So, uh, you know, we can put some types inside there. I don't think there's a random string type, but let's see if it uh, if it tries to do anything. And uh, no, of course not. So, uh, you know, just uh, just simple types. Um, so that uh, that's easy enough. Um, now, the one that I use the most is this uh, this uh, thread RNG. So I'm going to uh, just uncomment this so you can see it. Uh, this is for um, so uh, this is the, the what I usually use. So uh, make this uh, this mutable thread RNG, and then uh, and then what you do is you do uh, RNG uh, gen range. I think it was uh, like that. And then uh, let's uh, let's put that inside main and put that inside main, and um, let's print this out. So this is the uh, the main function that uh, that you find yourself using uh, in uh, you know role playing games or you know, anything similar to that. So you can see it's uh, it's made uh, it's give us given us a number in between uh, one and ten. So let's. Um, and of course, you know, it has to be mutable this because uh, you're, you're calling on it every time and it's going to be uh, be different. So let's uh, let's do that. Um, let's put together a quick character and uh, so I'll struct character. And uh, what's it going to have? It's going to uh, have a bunch of stuff. I'm going to uh, copy this in because they're just uh, just U8s, uh, nothing interesting. So just like Dungeons and Dragons, strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. And if you don't know the, what the words mean, dexterity is body quickness, uh, constitution means health, and uh, charisma is uh, popularity. And then, uh, then we're going to uh, do this uh, three die six. So that is a uh, a function, and it will give you the result of three dice. So you got uh, one to six. One to six, like that, uh, three times, and then the next one is going to be a function called four die six, and in Dungeons and Dragons, um, you have this um, this way of making characters where uh, if you have three die six, it's going to be from three to eighteen, but if you have three, then your character is pretty much uh, not going to live very long. Like if you have a intelligence of three, uh, you can't even speak a language. Um, and so a lot of times you do this, uh, this four die six where you take uh, four dice, uh, remove, remove the lowest one and keep the rest. So then, um, you know, if you get, uh, you know, one and one and, uh, you know, two and three, 
actually no, one and uh, two and three and six. Let's say that. So your character will be uh, will have nineteen, and this it's a way of keeping your characters from being too uh, too disadvantaged. So uh, let's let's uh, put this together. Uh, use rand, and I'm just going to bring everything in. This uh, don't forget this is called the glob operator, which means global. So let's do three die six. This should be easy. So we'll call this uh, the generator, uh, the thread RNG. So this uh, this will get passed in every time, and then uh, this will be the stats. So we'll start at zero, and then we'll say for something in zero to three, uh, we will say stat plus equals uh, generator this generator here, plus uh, gen range, which is the function we looked at, and uh, from one to six. And then we return the stat. So that was easy. And then uh, over here for four dice six, we're going to have uh, the same thing, uh, bring in this random number generator. And then uh, let's put the uh, results into a vec because we're going to sort it this time and put the uh, put the lowest one uh, on the front and then we're going to take it out um, and this time we're going from zero to four doing it four times and uh, we're going to push the results into here so results dot uh, push and uh, generator dot gen range and uh, once again uh, one to six so we're rolling the dice four times but it's the same dice it'll go from um, from one to six. And then uh, we have this uh, this function called sort. Uh, if you have a vec and you uh, you just call sort, then it will sort it for you. So we say results.sort. And then uh, actually let's print it out so we can, uh, we can look at it too. Uh, results are something results. Going to need to debug print that. And then uh, Results.remove, uh, take out the, uh, the first one, which will be the, uh, the smallest one, and then we are going to return results.iter.sum. <clears throat> you remember sum, you take, uh, you make an iterator and then you call sum and it'll just uh, add them all together. And then, uh, so this is, uh, let's see. So now we're going to implement our character and then uh, for our character, we're going to choose between uh, you know, are you going to have uh, uh, roll the dice three times, or roll the dice, uh, you know, more more than uh, four times? Um, <clears throat> so let's see. Let's have an enum actually. Enum dice uh, three and four. So we're going to choose between uh, that and then. Uh, so we'll have this function new. Function new, and uh, we're going to say dice is a dice. So you're going to say, okay, this is how many dice we want. Um, and it's going to return a cell. And then we're going to match uh, match dice. And it's going to be either three or four. So uh, if it is uh, dice three, then uh, we're going to return a self with all this stuff that I'm going to copy in because it's just the same thing. Like that. So if we have dice dot or dice three, uh, then we have uh, you know three dice six every time, and then uh, dice four. We could you know we could also do uh, this, but uh, dice four is a little bit more readable, uh, so we can uh, you know make sure that people know what we're talking about. Um, dice three, dice four. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So self. So. And going to copy this in like th that for die six every time. And then finally, we're going to have a uh, function display where we just uh, display our character. And uh, what are we going to do? We're going to say uh, print line like that, print self, and then. Uh, Actually, let's put in a space, and then you're going to say, "Well, how are we going to uh, to print this?" And uh, that's uh, we're going to bring in display, 
And this I'm going to uh, copy in because uh, we've implemented display many times. And you remember you just uh, you uh, make this format function and you follow the signature because it's a trait. So you have to uh, follow the exact signature. You know, um, this goes in, this goes in, this must be mute, uh, must bring in a, a mute self. And then, um, and then you have this write function. And then uh, after that, it's just, uh, you know, just regular, uh, you know, whatever you want to print out each time. And then finally, we go down to main and we're going to make some uh, some characters called, uh, we're going to make one called weak Billy. And uh, his name, he is a uh, character new and we're going to say he's weak. So he has a uh, dice three and then strong Billy equals character new dice four and then uh, let's display them so we'll say weak billy display and then strong billy dot display and let's see if i typed it all right i'm guessing no uh, expected one blah 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 what are we looking for here found dice dice is dice mm -hmm -hmm. Self match dice. So here I, I looks like I forgot the comma, and then uh, of course we need to uh, bring in uh, format. So what was it? Uh, use uh, standard format. I think that'll do it. Uh, four dice six. Let's see. Do, 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 do. That's right. Remove that uh, semicolon to uh, return it instead of uh, returning an empty, you know, unit type. And there we go. So we have um, we're making this uh, this Billy and uh, his character name Billy. And you can see the uh, the stats here. So uh, we have four dice here, and you can see it. Uh, you know, we it would sort it and then uh, give us uh, six and six and uh, and two um, and let's see five five two well, anyway uh, oh yeah that's for the uh, the strong Billy here so six twelve fourteen so that's the strength dexterity is going to be uh, six six and five that makes seventeen so it looks like it's working uh, charisma is five five and two and there it is whereas the uh, the weak Billy has you know five wisdom which is going to be a, uh, a problem for him later on so there you go that is um you know rand is the uh is super useful um it's definitely the the first uh crate that most people use the first external crate and uh just the uh the thread rng making uh, making that and then calling uh gen range will give you um uh the basic uh tool to uh to make some uh some role-playing game like uh, like things or you know guessing games or uh, whatever else that uh, needs some randomness in your code